Meghan Markle and Harry's Oprah Winfrey interview bags another award nomination. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey has been nominated for another TV award. The landmark conversation between Prince Harry, Meghan and Ms. Winfrey that left the royal family reeling is among the 2021 TCA Awards nominees. Oprah with Meghan and Harry, a CBS primetime special, has been included in the Outstanding Achievement in News and Information category. Other programs that made it into this category included CBS's 60 Minutes and FX's Framing Britney Spears. The TCAA are awards presented by the Television Critics Association in recognition of excellence in TV broadcasting. Announcing the nomination, CBS, which broadcasted the two-hour interview, tweeted, Congratulations to Oprah with Meghan and Harry, a CBS primetime special on their hashtag TCA Awards nomination for outstanding achievement in news and information. Hashtag Oprah Meghan Harry. Much like last year, the TCAA winners will be announced during an online event at a date yet to be announced. This comes after the explosive interview was also nominated for the Emmy Awards in its Outstanding Hosted Nonfiction Series or Special category. This nomination has been described as more bad news for the Royals by commentator Duncan Larkham. He told OK! Magazine, the Emmy's nod is more bad news for the Royals. It means that as awards gain momentum, once again Harry and Meghan's attack on the institution will be repeated over and over again. The Emmy winners will be announced on September 19. During the two-hour conversation with Ms. Winfrey, Meghan and Harry raised damaging claims against the royal family. Asked why they stepped down as senior royals, Harry said it was due to a lack of understanding and lack of support. During the interview, Meghan confessed she was suicidal while pregnant with Archie Harrison and claimed the firm did not support her despite asking for help. The Duchess of Sussex also claimed an unnamed member of the royal family raised concern over how dark the skin of Archie would be. These conversations, she said, happened while it was also being discussed whether Meghan and Harry's son should have a title and protection. Meghan also discussed reports that first emerged in late 2020, claiming she had made Kate cry in the run-up to the Sussexes' wedding. But the Duchess of Sussex told Ms. Winfrey the reverse had happened and it had been the Duchess of Cambridge who had left her in tears. Both Meghan and Harry spoke highly about the Queen during their interview, saying they are in regular contact with the British Sovereign. The Duke of Sussex, however, conceded the bond with other members of his family is strained, saying the relationship with his brother William was one of space at that moment. And he laid bare his difficult relationship with his father, saying he felt let down by Prince Charles.
The Duke also spoke about his bond with Charles during the docu-series he created with Ms. Winfrey, The Me You Can't See, and when he appeared on the Armchair Expert podcast. Following the Sussex's landmark interview, the Queen issued a 61-word statement, in which she said the whole family was saddened to have learned the full extent of Meghan and Harry's struggles. She acknowledged the issues raised during the interview were concerning, mentioning in particular the racism claims. However, she added, while some recollections may vary, they are taken very seriously and will be addressed by the family privately. During an engagement in London in the aftermath of the interview, Prince William broke ranks and, responding to a reporter's question asking about the racist claims, he said, we are very much not a racist family.